Welcome to the King's Residence in Scotland. We have been invited by King Charles II himself. If you watched our Braemar Games video, you'll see Charles give Sarah a little wink. Um, he tweeted that afterwards and said, come and stay at my place anytime you like. We told him we were going up to Scotland and he said, oh, I've got a house up there, come and stay there. So we did. But what we didn't do was we didn't check in first to see if he was here. Turns out he's in Germany. So we've had to sleep in his car park and pay 10 quid for the uh, for the luxury of it. But we're happy with that. Did you notice I didn't tap the can? What is this? Hazy Jane Guava. So Charlie said to Sarah, when you come round we'll have a few bevies. Obviously, as I've just told you, we can't get in. So uh, here's to you Charlie. See you next time. Ooh. Ooh, that's got a weird kick to it, but I like it. I like it a lot. Where are we? Good morning from Balmoral. Slept well, although not as well as if we'd have got into Charlie's East Wing, because I've heard his Egyptian cotton sheets are really comfortable. Just having a brew in the morning, as you do. A Scottish brew. A Scottish brew. We slept in this car park. It's got allocated motorhome spots. There's about six, seven, eight of them, or something like that. It's ten pound overnight. There's toilets in the opposite car park as well, behind the, the little post office and shop. They are closed currently, but they do say they reopen in April, but we've got Porter losing substitutes anyway. <laughs> Jack's just doing his yoga. So yeah, it's a nice place here. We've got the river running alongside us here. There was only two vans in the car park, including us, all night. One more has just turned up for a day trip by the look of it. So let's go and see what let's go and see with the king as his holidays. We are currently in King Charles's garden. And uh, Oscar's just took a poo. Jack. Uh, not Oscar, Jack. <laughs> We're literally five minutes in, and it is stunning. Built by Prince Albert. Today is the 1st of April and it's the first day this castle has been open since the death of Her Majesty the Queen, Elizabeth II. Well, I'm not overly interested in the royal side of this, but the estate itself is worth seeing. So if your partner is the one who's a royalist, 
and you have to be dragged along. Not that I was dragged. This is a really nice place to walk around. Just coming down to the River Dee now. This isn't an estate. This is a friggin' village. It's out of this world. If this footage looks weird as well, I came out of a van in the car park with my big camera ready. And the SD card's full. I don't know how long it's been full for, so God knows what footage I haven't recorded. So I'm on the little cameras and I hate them. But it's catching memories, aren't we? So we're approaching a statue of a noble, a dog called Noble, and it was Prince Albert's favourite dog. So I've just been told by Sarah. <laughs> Jack definitely wouldn't be Prince Albert's favourite dog. Favourite collie and dear and faithful companion of Queen Victoria. Oh, Queen Died Victoria. On the 18th of September 1887. Rest in peace, Noble. Noble by name, noble by nature too. It's a memorial for Princess Alice who was Queen Victoria's daughter, who died in 1878. And she was about 35, because she was born in 1843. Quick maths. Yeah. We've now come to see the Diamond Jubilee Cairn from 2012. Elizabeth Royal Diamond Jubilee. It's got good views. Over to the castle. Now we were going to go and see Prince Albert's Cairn, which is up near the uh, Loch Lagar Whiskey Distillery. But the rain's coming in now, it's been threatening all morning. And Jack's being a dick. So I think we might give that a miss and give us a reason to come back up here next time. So that concludes our camping trip in King Charles's garden. A very nice garden it is too. And our Scottish trip as a whole really, isn't it? Scottish trip as a whole, yeah, we're done. Sarah couldn't leave the King's garden. Because he couldn't, because he wasn't there to give us any freebies, which no doubt he will have done. So he's had to spend some money instead, so what have you got? I've got that sun, because I'm a sucker for, you know. The Coronation of King Charles III, limited edition, all butter shortbread. So we'll be able to take that to the Van Life Fest. Ain't hey, my challenge. Some Balmoral colour cubes. <laughs> <laughs> Just suck on the way home. Yeah. Got me hubby a Invergelder Highland Pale Ale. Ooh. Um, brewed locally with Scottish water, organic malts and hops to create a modern aromatic citrusy session IPA. Nice. Good choice, wife. I'm not unwrapping it, but I also got my friend a little miniature of gin for a 40th birthday just to go in a birthday bag. That's it. Dan, well I hope you there wasn't really much to enjoy in this video, I don't think, but just something to finish off the Scottish trip, really. Mm -hmm. We were passing. It was today is the first day that the the, the grounds are open after uh, following the, the death of Queen Elizabeth II. So as we were passing the day before, it'd be rude not to stop here for the night and then just go and see something we haven't seen before. Yeah. It's open April till July, and we don't tend to come to Scotland. No. Between April and July. Normally just come up in winter. Today's yeah. the first of April, so why not? Anyway, we've got about a five to six hour drive home now. Mm -hmm. So we'll uh, see you in the next video.